When it comes to menswear right now, the lines have it. From the bold to the fine, stripes are everywhere. And WSJ off-duty men's fashion editor Jacob Gallagher is here to give us a primer on bringing some lines into your life. Hi, Jacob. Thanks so Hi. much for being with us and oh, bringing Thank you. some examples. Mm -hmm. Now, is it safe to say that the bolder and the brighter the stripe, you're telegraphing a more casual look? Um, we tend to think that obviously there are exceptions. Um, bold dress shirts can kind of be a little bit more commanding, which might be helpful in the workplace at times. But for the average guy, it's, I don't want to say that that's a given necessarily, mm -hmm. but if you're going to go big, you're going to go bold. I mean, that's pretty right. much where, so where it is. You've got to be in the mood to peacock a little bit. Exactly. And there's also, it's very important to pay attention to color within that. You know, if they're just uh, a navy against a darker blue, it might not be as dramatic as opposed to say something like this. You know, these are still quite wearable because yeah. we're gonna be on vacation. But if this were to be a pant or a sweater instead, this would be quite loud. And you wouldn't wear that to the office if they were pants. But you know, these since they're Precisely. they're both blue, it's not like you've got, mm. you know, blue and yellow. Mm. So there's something a little bit more muted about there that. There definitely is. Yeah. And, and it can definitely play a little bit better um, and you know, they're swim trunks, they're fun, right. they're meant to be, you know, kind of loud like this. These but on the other care. hand, we've got these guys, which are, you know... Wait, how do you how do you style something like that so you don't look like you're in the circus? Well, it's funny, because I was, <laughs> I was talking with the rest of my team about this, and I, I would wear these, personally. I'm a fashion editor. Yeah, yeah, here. yeah. You know, so I think that this with a gray sweater like what I'm yes, wearing... Yes, yes. ...could be workable, potentially. Simplicity is key if you're wearing something like this. We tend to say with men's style that it's always best to have one item that really stands out if you're gonna go this route, with if you're look. gonna go with a big look. So I would definitely just say be conservative if you're gonna wear something like this throughout the rest of your outfit. Right. Um, that being said, you know, for a certain guy, this is the statement they wanna make. And, yeah. and I, I definitely think that these work a little bit better than if this was a black and a white stripe, which would probably be just Beetlejuice. Yeah, absolutely. Michael Keaton. Right. <laughs> there you go. So. I mean, and I do love that classic sort of French sailor, mm -hmm. navy white stripe. It's a great look, but Certainly. it's a fine line to excuse <laughs> excuse the pun between uh -huh. that and sort of, as you point out in your story, looking like a mime, mm -hmm. right? And I think that for a lot of guys, even that stripe can be a little bit much. And a lot of that stems from the fact that that's horizontal stripes. It's a very right. directional look. So we are aware of the fact that guys, you know, with, when it comes to style with guys, it still is a stepwise process. For a certain guy, though, I mean, that, stri that striped sweater, that, you know, classic French stripe, so chic, and, and it can work really well depending on, you know, how you, again, how you pair it. Absolutely. But, so the, the key is just to start easy, a few pieces, work your way up mm -hmm. to it. You know, if you're the average guy, go with the striped dress shirt, maybe on the weekend start throwing in that striped sweater and, and see how you feel. But you know? don't ignore it altogether, because stripes are here to stay. They are here, exactly. <laughs> Jacob, thank you so much for My that. Pleasure.